Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a request video that I'm making for Maddie. And Maddie asked me, can I explain how to do a batch rendering in Blender uh, in two different methods? One is having an output of individual uh, image files that she compiles later in a software of her choice. And the second method would be a batch render straight up into a video file. So I'm gonna show you both. Now, we need, of course, an animation. So let me quickly create something. I'm gonna select this guy. We're gonna to go to edit mode, to vertex mode. I'm gonna take this vertex on the corner right here, hit delete, go to vertex, and there you go. So that's my backdrop. I'm gonna go back to object mode. We're gonna to go to add a mesh and grab another cube and we'll uh, scale that one down something like so now uh, of course this has nothing to do with the animation itself it really doesn't matter so we're going to keep that extremely simple all right so i'm just going to go and uh, move this down something like that right and i'm going to increase the size here we're on frame one or zero i should say and I'm gonna hit I on my keyboard and I'm gonna go to location, rotation and scale. So we got a keyframe on this one right here. We're gonna make the whole animation, let's say 40 frames long, just to keep it simple. And I'm gonna scrub this to let's say 40. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this up here and I'm gonna rotate it something like this and something like this and maybe scale it a little bit, why not, right? So there you have it. Now I want that to be keyframed as well. So I'm gonna hit I on my keyboard once again, location, rotation, and scale, click on that. There is my second keyframe. I'm gonna go here um, to this counter and I'm gonna set that to 40. And now if I hit play, it should work. There you go, very, very simple animation. Okay, cool. All right, now let's say we want to render this out. Now, first we want to go up here to our viewport shading. So we're going to see something like this. And I'm going to kind of choose the angle that I want. Let me run it quickly so I can see if I will have my entire um, animation in frame. Let me try that again. All right. Let's go up here and we're gonna check it through the camera. I think that would be the best way to do it. That's fine, okay. So now that we have that, a couple of things we need to do, right? First of all, we're gonna go to the render tab. Now, in the render tab, uh, I can increase the number of samples. I want this to be quite large. For the viewport, it doesn't have to be that large. Let's do this 500. For the viewport, we'll do, I don't know, 40 or so. I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm going to turn on ambient occlusion. I'm gonna turn off bloom or leave it off. Let me put it that way. Depth of field, uh, subsurface scattering. I'm not gonna do any of that. This is not what that view was about. Uh, so that's all good. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the output screen. And here I can check my resolution. So I want 1920 by 1080 pixels, okay. Uh, aspect ratio, leave all of that alone, 24 frames per second. Um, yeah, for me, that's fine. I'm in Europe. It depends on what kind of output you're going to choose. And again, that's a whole different video, right? Down here, that's important. So frame range. Well, I have a frame that starts at uh, one or zero, I should say. Yeah. Uh, step of one. So I want each individual frame to be uh, rendered out. Okay. And then the end is 40, and that's the end of my frame. So it's going to start at 0 and at 40. Now, uh, when it comes to output, I need to choose what type of file extension I want, right? Uh, this is where I want to save it. Sorry. Um, yeah, let's do desktop. Why not? Okay. And right now it's set to PNG. So if I render it out like this, I'm going to get a, a 40 PNG images that I can then stitch together in uh, something like Windows Movie or whatever, right? Okay, so everything else, leave that alone. And what I'm gonna do, I think I got everything, is I'm gonna go up here to render, and we're gonna go to render animation. 
and let's have a look it's running through the frames as you can see six seven eight nine and keep in mind that this was of course a super super simple uh, animation to begin with right but for that reason it doesn't take as long to show you so you can clearly see that the animation is running we only have 40 frames we're at 30 3 34 39 and 40. So if everything went well, I should have 40 images on my desktop. So let's uh, check that out. And here you go. We have a whole bunch of files and I'll just open one of them to prove it. And we'll open that with the uh, Affinity Photo, why not? There you go, that's one of them, right? Okay, cool. Now let's go back into Blender and let's say we want to do the same render sequence, but instead of having all these images, what I want is everything put directly into a video file, right? Well, the only thing you have to do here is you have to go back to your output settings and right here, uh, the frame and all that stuff is the same, right? But instead of the file format PNG, I want something that's in a video format. And I can choose a, a AVI JPEG, AVI RAW or uh, FFmpeg video. Now for this, I'm going to go with uh, AVI RAW. Okay. Uh, everything else is going to be the same. I'm going to go up here to render and once again, render animation. And we'll give that some time. And it's five and six and seven and eight. It's running quite fast. You can see once again that the video is running. And it should be at 40 in the, just a few seconds. And there you have it, 40. Now, uh, let's see, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the desktop once again, and we're gonna look for a video file with 40 of these guys in it. And that would be this one right here. Double click on it and boom, there you have it. So yeah, that's how simple that is. And uh, yeah, hopefully that will help you to understand how to do something like this, right? So Maddie, I hope this answered your question. Uh, thanks for the request, I appreciate it. And I also appreciate that you've been a, a supporter of my channel for years. So thank you so much. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.